What's up? I'm going to do a video here on how I track lap times while both while I'm racing and as I'm counting laps or timing laps in DaVinci Resolve afterwards. So there'll be a little bit here on how I sync, sync clips while I'm, while I'm actually racing and flying laps and then we'll jump into DaVinci and I'll cut the laps up and add timers and find the best fastest three laps of good takes. But, but to start with, I always track my stuff with a notepad and so if I get a good run in the field, I, I know that I had three laps in there, I'll write down. So then before each battery or each take, um, I'll give a, a finger sign to the, the drone so I know where I'm at. Um, and if I have multiple cameras, I'll do a clap so then I can sync the multiple cameras as well. So we'll turn on here this fourth battery. Hopefully we'll get three laps in. All right, so I'll make sure I'm recording on both. And hold up four. This is my fourth battery. And then I don't stop recording for the whole battery. We just fly the whole thing out. I kind of just count the laps in my head as I go. So I know I got two so far and this is three. Sometimes I forget and I'll have five or six laps and I don't know, but once I get three and I know I got three good ones, I'll start to try to push it harder. So now I know I got three laps on this take and I'll write it down. All right, so I'll write that down. Uh, battery number four, I'll say one set. And then I know, essentially now I know I can just pull these files in DVR and I don't even have to transfer files one and two. And it just saves a lot of storage space and time as you track laps. If you're wondering what I'm flying, it's a 65 mil, of course, with 0702, 26,000, I think. 26,000 KV. Tri-blade gem, gem fans, it's the old, uh, it's a V1 of the Happy Model Diamond FCs. And a Foxier Pico Razor with a 3D printed. Oh no, this is still the, that's why it's been shaking. Um, I've got 3D printed canopies that don't break, but this is the beta, beta FPV canopy. All right, well, got three. All right, let's go to DaVinci and edit stuff. All right, I'm in DaVinci now. I'm gonna make a new project. All right, we're gonna make a timeline with the first clip. Pull in the two that had HD. All right, so to line line them up, if if you're syncing a couple camera angles, you look, make sure you have the number. So this four. I'm gonna look for the clap. Use the arrow left and right are frame by frame. And the arrow till I clap, and that's my spot. And then if I have this clip selected, I'm gonna hit Shift left bracket, and that's gonna trim to the playhead. So I trim that piece up to the playhead. Now I can go to the other track and find the clap there, which I think was a ways in. Okay, so here's four. And clap, see the clap. Um, but then I can just pull this and it snaps to the playhead as long as this little magnet icon is checked, if this is unchecked. It's not gonna snap to the playhead, but that magnet will let it snap. And now you have these two synced. All right, so then I'm gonna just play through and find the, find the three laps. So I hit space bar, space bar to play. I keep my hand on the space bar. 
and then right at the first gate, I pause it, use the arrow keys until you go forward. I know I'm through the gate now. I'm gonna hit Command B to cut. And I'm actually gonna click in the gray area here because that will, now Command B will cut everything since I've synced two clips. So now I know that's my first frame of the first lap. Oh, I messed that up. So we'll wait for first battery, I'm not used to. Let's mute this. And pause again, first arrow, first frame, Command V. And since I know that the, I, I don't need this one, because that was a mistake to avoid confusion, I'll often just delete it. Or you can hit D to disable. And then I can let it play. So I missed, missed lap in there too. And B. If you use um, J, K, and L will play back. J will play in reverse, K will pause, and J will play forward. So I just hit K to pause. That was one another one lap. So I'll hit Command B. Now I'm gonna hit L to play back, but I'm gonna hit it twice and it'll play in two times speed. Sometimes it's hard to watch in two times, but now okay to pause, move forward arrow keys and time through the gate, command B, L twice, K to pause, arrow keys, and through the gate, command B to cut it, go double speed again, and arrow keys through the gate cut and just repeat until you get all your laps cut. And I mean, honestly, you can be a little more rough in that. So, okay. So I messed up that lap. That's good. That's fine. Um, to, just to keep it straight, sometimes I'll cut that bit out and then I know this is a section of laps if I have a ton of these to do but I can hit shift left bracket again, and that'll trim up that, that section. Okay, so now I've got this section, and these are all laps, um, but I have them cut up so I can see laps, and I wanna know which is three's fastest, so I can simply click on the one I wanna see the speed of, and I can hit Command D, or Control D, and it shows you the duration. So this is giving me, this is eight seconds and 13 frames. Check this one, eight seconds and 10 frames, eight seconds, 17 frames, eight, 17, 725, that one was really fast. Eight, 13. Hmm. But at least then you can know, okay, I think these, th these three are the fastest and I can pull those. Um, but we can also add a timer. So I'm gonna go here to, you click on effects, and then you're gonna go to titles, text plus, and drag a text plus element. It only works on the text plus element. This is, we're gonna make this into a timer that we can place anywhere. All right, so we've added the text plus element. I'm gonna hit Command D again, Control D, um, and see the time. But you have to remember that this is showing you seconds. This is hours, minutes, seconds, and then this is frames and not milliseconds. Um, so this is not the time how we wanna see it. Um, this is plenty to see which of the three or what of which three of six or seven laps is the fastest, but um, we need to make sure we get milliseconds. So I'm going to just close out of that. Um, so in the text plus element, we can add it, add it as an expression. So I'm going to right click, you can just delete the, the title, right click in that space and say expression and you can erase this text and we're going to put in this long expression. I'm gonna go here to, I've got it saved in project notes. So I'm gonna copy and paste this. Don't worry about trying to type all this in. I'll put it in the video description. I'm gonna paste that in there, hit enter. And that's gonna give me this little runtime. So now 
it's gonna start it's gonna run time from the start and then wherever you put this you can cover up your whole thing and then you got a timer so you can just click on that go to settings you can move it wherever you want that gives you a timer so now you can see milliseconds rather than frames so I'll say okay this is my fastest three laps out of this this battery pack I'll highlight them all I'll separate them I'll right click and I'll just change them to green now I know those are my fastest I'll move on to the next set I think this was my best one nine for the clap. Arrow key. Command B to cut it there. I'm gonna find um I'm gonna leave the play head there and I'm just gonna slide this roughly. And then I can actually use the greater than and less than signs to nudge the whole region. So I know that's where I want it. And then since it only this one's highlighted, command B will just cut that one. So now I've retained the whole clip, but still synced it using the bracket, the, not brackets, the left and greater than equals in. All right, so we'll go through this one, sync, sync it up. Eventually you get pretty good at pausing it on the right spot and watching it two times speed. I wonder if watching in two times speed actually helps you uh, race faster. Okay, so that's the end of it. I'm going to shift left bracket and cut that space off. I'm going to disable this because I know that's not... Okay, so now I've got a whole bunch of clips and I can say... Oh, that one's seven seconds. It did way better than the last set. 627, 705, 701, 624. Ooh, so it looks like I bet these three will be the fastest. So I'm gonna go back to the timer that I already made. I'm gonna hold option or alt and just drag while holding it and it'll copy that for you. So you don't have to worry about remaking it. Um, I've messed that up before where I drag it and I cut the end so just make sure it still starts at zero all right so now that i know that shortest too i will also make these ones green all right so now i've got my three fast laps i want the timer to start on this frame but i still want to in my video see some of this leading up to it and you want some at the end. Um, but I want to just say, hey, let's stop the timer. So I had 20.9 seconds. I don't want that timer to stop. So all I'll do is I'll, again, hold Option or Alt and drag to duplicate this. I'll put it here. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to go to this. Um, make sure in the last frame of this one, copy the time and you can go to this one and you're just going to remove this expression I think you can right click say remove expression paste the time in and now it's going to be the exact same and location and size and all that stuff and it will just look like a pauses pause and you got your final time Uh, to avoid confusion, maybe change that one's color too, so you don't... Control up and down arrow will jump uh, video tracks too. That's a good tip. Alright, so there we go. Hope that helps for everybody. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm happy to answer them. I spend like 50 hours a week in DaVinci, uh, a lot of time in it. So um, yeah, or if you have questions about racing drones and stuff too. Let me know. I'm happy to help out.